a charm saw it. I'm Ozumi. One day, as I was watching TV at home... What type of guys do you like, Akane-san? What? Akane? Akane was my classmate in middle school. Wait, but was Akane always this pretty? Did she really have big breasts like that? I had doubts and so I decided to search online. And then... What? Is she really that Akane I know? Surprisingly, her middle school and birthday information were all correct. I found out that the Akane I knew and this Akane are the same person. But I don't have much experience with guys. What? What? Really? Really? Hmm. Liar! You were in seven relationships at the same time, you bitch! I will never forget all the evil things this girl did! During middle school days, she was a tyrant. <laughs> okay, next, Sasuji, do an impersonation of Beat Takeshi. What? Hurry up, the others did it too. But Akane-chan, this is embarrassing. What, are you disobeying me? Oh, Komachi. <laughs> you suck. Hey, Yuri, give me that magazine. What? Azumi, you're done with the homework, right? Do mine too. No, do it yourself. What? Ah! Just do it, slowpoke. Akane was always treating the people around her like slaves. And also... <gasps> Aw, man, I miss. Sorry! I threw it a little too strong. Akane wouldn't allow anybody to be cuter or more popular than her. And it got worse. What? My shoes are gone! Does anybody know where my shoes went? Um, Karin-chan. What, Yuri? This was in the trash can. Those are my shoes! Because of that, some of the classmates were scared of Akane and changed schools. I heard she's changing schools. What? Is Azumi absent again today? There was a time I stopped going to school too. And Akane's parents had power and money, so there was nothing she was scared of. You shouldn't disobey me if you don't want anything to happen to you. And that kind of a girl is a TV star? I hope she disappears! But my wish wasn't granted. Rather, she started appearing on TV even more. She started showing up on the shows during prime time. Akane-san, you're so cute! Stop that! Terrible! I turned off the TV every time Akane appeared. One day... Okay, let's ask Akane-san! Her again? Good thing Person S was able to get away from the harassment! I agree. The truth is, I was harassed in my middle school days too. So I understand how Person S feels. I understand the pain. What? I was told that I was talking too closely with the person she liked. My desk was kicked. I had graffiti written all over my stuff. And my shoes were hidden from me. What? During P.E., somebody purposely threw a ball at me. What? That's everything you did to everybody else. But I can forgive those people now. There's no point in holding a grudge. If I have that kind of negative energy, I won't be able to grow as a person. I see. There are many ways of thinking. But that's not something you're allowed to say, this evil bitch! I'm gonna write you out to everybody on the internet. All your lies, your evil doings, and your plastic surgery. I revealed the truth about the real Akane on an internet forum. I feel a little better now. I mean, people won't know if the information posted on the forum is real or fake, so this most likely will be ignored and won't be talked about. But, the next day... What?! Harassment is the worst! She's the scum of society! So many lies! Her face and breasts are fake, right? I knew something was up! I always thought her face and breasts are off! Can't believe her anymore! She's done! The forum blew up with comments. Looking through the comments, it seems like Akane's father has some history of his own. Oh no, things are getting out of hand. Ever since then, Akane started having fake smiles on whenever she appeared on TV. $500,000 on plastic surgery? That's crazy! <laughs> she became sensitive to the word plastic surgery. 
she would get a pale face and act suspiciously at times. I can't forgive people who have harassed others. My parents lied to me the other day. Oh no! You can tell through the screen that she was agitated. And even though she was a center of attention, all of a sudden she stopped appearing anywhere. Hmm? I thought Akane was a regular for this TV program. After that, hey everyone! Long time no see! Oh, it's Azumi! How have you been? At a middle school reunion. Hey, about Akane, did you see the forum on the internet? Yeah, I saw it! It was blowing up! Akane stopped appearing on TV recently. You think it's because of the things said on the forum? But I wonder who wrote that. This is so awkward. It must be one of our classmates. Azumi, do you know? What? Oh, who knows? Oh, that place. I wrote a lot of secrets on that forum too, but I don't know who started it. What? You, you did, did Yuzuriha? Yeah, I'm the one that revealed Akane's father's name and picture. And then people from his company who had grudges against him started writing comments. I knew there were other classmates who were writing on the forum, but I didn't think it was Yasuria. I see. Well, in any case, she deserves it anyways. Cheers! After that, I heard Akane's father's company finally went bankrupt. What do I do now? Akane was fired from her agency. It must be hard to find a normal job now after appearing on the internet and TV that much. I mean, too bad for her. She's the one that got carried away. I shouldn't write bad things about people like this anymore. You never know who's watching. It was an experience that made me realize how scary the internet and people's grudges can be. I'm Yuri. This is a story from when I was in elementary school. I saw that old lady this morning again. I saw her the other day too. That old lady is scary. She's always picking up trash and talking to herself. She puts a bunch of trash in her pushing cart, and it smells horrible! The smell makes me want to gag, so I always try to stay away! Me too! The other day, I saw someone throw an empty can at her! Back then, I was living in a suburban city. The old lady that was living there was well known amongst the kids. The lady was always hunched over pushing her cart with a bunch of trash in it. On top of that, she was unfriendly and her house was a hoarder house. Among the kids, she was known as a creepy old lady. I hear that old lady doesn't just carry around trash, but also dead animals. She probably cooks and eats them! Ah! Gross! Aww, they're all believing things they haven't even actually seen. It's so rude. One day... Oh, it's the old lady! Oh no, what should I do? The lights is going to change! Man, the light is about to change! I'll push the cart, so let's walk fast! What? Oh! Thank goodness, we made it! This cart is pretty heavy. Do you need to take all this to your house? If you don't mind, I can help carry it to your house. What? Oh, thank you. Watch your step! Uh, you know where I live? Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty well known around here. Huh. <sighs> Oops, was that not a good thing to say? We're here! Can I leave it here? Yes, thank you. After that day, I ran into the old lady a few more times, and I would help her carry her stuff to her house. A few months later. Okay, I'm gonna go then. Oh, wait. Wait, right here. Hmm? I wonder what? I'll give this to you. Put your hands out. Wow, so pretty! I can have this? Yes, you can take it with you. Wow! Thank you! I'll make sure to take good care of it! Ever since then, I would stare at the ring whenever I had free time. Hey, Yuri. Where did you get that? What? This? The old lady that lives in the hoarder house down the block! What? Why? The other day, I explained what happened to my mom. Hmm. Yuri, about this ring, don't take it to school or carry it with you outside. Don't show it to anybody or brag about it to the others. Hmm? Huh? Okay, I will. I found out later that this ring was actually something very valuable. One month later. I'm gonna go to the bank real quick to take out some money. Do you want to stay in the car? No, I'll go with you. Welcome. Uh, <gasps> welcome, welcome Azami-sama! What? The bank staff are all lined up 
to greet the old lady from the horror house. I heard later on that the old lady was a big investor. She was the number one customer for many of the banks nearby. This way, ma'am. That old lady. I didn't know why exactly, but I guess she was an amazing person. A year after that, due to my dad's style transfer, we moved to a different city. And I don't know what happened to the old lady ever since then. And then ten years later, I wonder how that old lady is doing. Mom, did you know? Oh, yeah. I heard she passed away right after we moved. Oh, really? Yeah, and I heard after she passed away, her daughter inherited all her money. She spent her money on hosts and guys. And just within five years, she spent everything. What? Hmm, but how do you know all this, Mom? I became friends with Karin's son when we were living in that city, and I heard all of this from her. The daughter was bragging to everybody around her after her mom passed away. She acted like a queen at the banks as well. I guess after the old lady passed away and she inherited all that money, she probably didn't know how to spend it and what to do with all of it. She's apparently in huge debt. It's pretty rough. Wow, that's terrible. Oh, by the way, do you still have that ring? What? Yeah, I do. I still take it out of my drawer at times to stare at it. See? Hmm. Yuri, I'm gonna tell you now that you're grown up. I actually took that to a pawn shop and got it appraised. What? Isn't this fake? No, that's actually a real sapphire. What? At that shop I was told the value was a few thousand dollars. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't think it could be something that valuable. I got scared and brought it home right away. It's something you got as a present, so you can do whatever you want with it. But if you decide to keep it, make sure you take good care of it. That old lady, why did she give this ring to me? I wasn't sure if it was just something a rich woman would do, or if there was a different meaning behind it. But I bet she gave this to me for a certain reason, so I don't want to sell it. I'd rather keep it safe from now on. I'm Yuri. Today I went to the supermarket with my husband Kuroki and my kids. Ah, oh, Yuri-san. Hello. Hello, Asami-san. Wow, isn't this extra pasture land milk? We buy that one dollar milk. Yes, our kids don't really like milk, but they'll drink it if it's this kind, so we have to buy this one. Really? But this meat is high quality too. And this broth too. You must have a lot of money. <laughs> what are you talking about? To be honest, I don't feel comfortable being around Asami-san. She always talks about money with us. Okay, well, we gotta go now. I'll pay with credit card. Um, excuse me, ma'am, but this credit card is expired. What? Oh, shoot. I forgot this card expired last month. Sorry, I'll pay with cash. Okay, no problem. Hey, Karoki-kun, how do I throw away this credit card? Credit card? Burn the numbers with a lighter and cut up the card into small pieces. I see. I'll do it for you, because it's dangerous. Thanks. The card was cut up into small pieces, and I decided to throw them away at different times. Okay, done. Gotta go wash dishes now. Two weeks later, I wonder who it is. Yes? Asami-san, did you need something? Yuri-san, come out here. I was feeling a bit suspicious, but I opened the door. Um, what can I do for you? This! This credit card! There's missing pieces, so I can't figure out the number! Give me the rest of the pieces! Huh? What? What? I'm saying give me the rest of the pieces! Do you know how hard it was to find the pieces on the card? I'm not looking through your trash because I like to. It seemed like Asami-san had been digging through our trash and was looking for valuable things. But why would you actually come asking to rip for the number? What? What? Wait a minute! This is fraud! No, it's not! You're the one that threw away your card! Just picking it up. Anyways, you guys have money, so it doesn't hurt for us to have one or two of your credit cards, right? This person is crazy. I'm not supposed to deal with people like her. Please go home. What? Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Just give me the card pieces. Give them to me. Who is this crazy person? After a while, it seemed like she finally gave up and left. <sighs> finally, she left. What? Again? I looked through the peephole in fear. <laughs> what? Tsuji-san? Our neighbor 
where Sasuji san was standing outside. Sasuji san, did you need something? Yuri san, are you okay? I just heard Azumi san yelling. Oh, yeah, I somehow managed. She actually has a criminal record and is currently on probation. What? For credit card fraud. Are you serious? After hearing about Azumi san's history, I went to the police right away. What's this person's name? Azumi san, she lives on Netra Street. Her again. Seems like it. I wonder how many times this has happened. Anyways, just let us know if something happens again. We'll head over right away. Okay. After that, I called my husband Kuroki and went to preschool to pick up the kids before going home. Yuri, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. She wouldn't come again, right? Who knows? Hey, you! Come out of the house, now! Who is that? This voice. We checked the interphone with fear. We saw Asani's son and her husband with her two kids standing outside. We know you're in there! If you don't want to be hurt, give us the car! I couldn't buy the limited edition purse because of you! How are you going to pay me for that stupid girl? Are they serious? Yuri, you hide with the kids and call the cops. I'm going to ignore them for now. Okay. Shitheads! Come out, now! My road bike! Take this! Take this! Stop! Oh, shit, it's the cops! We gotta run! Mommy! You guys stay there! Ow! Mommy! Hey, that lady just got hit by the police car! What? We ran out to check. Are you okay? Azumi-san was alive, but looked beaten up and was taken in right after. Are you guys okay? Anybody hurt? Yes, we're okay. Where's the husband? Hold on. How is it? The husband was caught just now, so no need to worry anymore. Thank goodness. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> what about them? We will take them for now and let their relatives know. No need to worry. I see. Poor kids. After that, Azumi-san and her husband were arrested and the grandparents took in the kids. Luckily, they were running the house and my parents' house was close to Kuroki's office. So we decided to move in and live there for a while. We had our kids move there first while we did our packing and moving. We also spoke to a lawyer about what happened and had our expenses to fix the road bike and our moving stuff was paid. We also filed a claim and Azumi-san and her husband were criminally charged. My road bike. My poor road bike. We need to be careful when we throw things away now. And next time we decide to move. Yeah. We need to, we need research, to research if there are any crazy, crazy neighbors, neighbors around that, that area. area. You all should be careful when moving too. I'm Karin. There's this woman that's been bothering me lately. This one right here. Her name is Azumi. Huh? Why order three? Let's just order one drink and we can share. It'll be cheaper that way. What? No. She was so cheap. What? Oh, come on. They'll never know. And she always asked us to give her stuff. Sasuji, your daughter is growing up so fast. Can I have her old clothes? She's just going to sell them online. Here you are. Ah, oh, the food is here. Huh? That's all you're going to eat? Yeah. I mean, you guys ordered so much food. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> what? I'm fine. I can finish this myself. Yeah, me too. What? Oh, come on! Give me some! <laughs> I want to try! Hey, can I get some extra plates? Looks delicious! Here you go. That's it? Azumi, if you want to eat, why don't you just order them yourself? What? You got a problem with me? Did you forget? My husband used to hang out with some really dangerous people back in the day. He's still connected, you know. Just do as I say, okay? Come on now, give me some of that Karin. She's so annoying. Azumi? I know, right? She's pretty annoying. Can I borrow your printer? You made all this? Can I take some of it home? I wish we could just stop hanging out with her. 
Yeah, but apparently she's connected, so... I'm sure she's just exaggerating, but what if she's not, you know? Kind of scary. Yeah, I know. I know! I have an idea! Yeah? It's not much, but I'll try it out at the next lunch. Leave it to me. Huh? A week later, Ozumi asked us to go to lunch with her again. There's this new place that open! Let's go! The next day... Wow! Look at all these people! She's gonna try and leech off of us again. Ugh. What should I get? It all looks so good! Yay! Karin, can I try some of that? See? <coughs> Fine, just a little piece. Mmm, so good! Wait, Sasuji said she had an idea. I wonder what it is. Look at those people! Shh! Quiet! Damn, everything looks so good! Chill out! Stop yelling! Don't order too much. You always order too much. It's on me today. What do you want to drink? Got any booze? Are you stupid? This is a bakery. Uh-oh. They look like trouble. I'll go get a table. What? Why? There are plenty of other tables open. They're looking at us. Sorry we're late, ma'am. Ma'am? Wait, are they Ozumi's? Oh, I guess not. Wait. Hey, Akamatsu, Hideki, how are you? Can't complain. Susuji! No, son? Leave it to me. So that's what she was talking about. Hey, Tsutsuji, how's your husband? He's good. Thanks for coming, Tachibana. Tachibana? Oh, I've been meaning to check this place out. Here, I got you something. Take a look. Ah, cheesecake! I thought about getting some, but I didn't think I'd be able to finish it. Wait, this is for us? Yeah. How do you know them, Sasuji? Oh, sorry. They're my friends. Tachibana wanted to come here too, so I invited him. C cool Yo, this is amazing! This one's so good! Oh my... Man! Maybe they're not as scary as I thought. Thank you, sir. Thank Tsutsuji. She's the one that told us about this place. Hey, Tsutsuji, thanks. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is ask. If anyone gives you a hard time, just let me know. Ah! You're like family to us, Tsutsuji. If anyone messes with you, they're messing with us. Ah! Then... All right, we're off. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go. Yeah, let's come here again sometimes. Azumi, what's wrong? Oh, oh, nothing. Let's go. <laughs> that was delicious. And we got some free cheesecake. Yeah, let's go again soon. Huh? A text from Azumi. Hey, about today, I haven't done anything bad to Sasuji, right? What the? What is it? I know I said I knew people, but the truth is, I don't. My husband was just a regular teenager. He got in trouble all the time, but nothing serious. But Sasuji's friends, I think they're the real deal. They're probably with a Yakuza or something. I hope I didn't piss her off. Wait, but Sasuji, how do you know them? Are they connected? No, they're just regular people like you and me. What? My family runs a dojo. They come and practice judo there. That's it? Yeah, but they look pretty tough, right? I thought that might scare her a bit. And they're pretty strong, so... Don't tell Ozumi, though. Afterwards, we still hung out with Ozumi, but... Sasuji! Want anything? I'll go get you a drink! <laughs> Ozumi stopped harassing her. She started sucking up to Sasuji. It was kind of weird. Sasuji! I got you some souvenirs for my vacation! Oh, really? But she started picking on me. Thanks, but why did you get me all this stuff but didn't get anything for Karin? Huh? Oh, it's just... I don't know what she wanted, so... Oh, come on! It's a thought that counts, right? Right, Karin? Whatever. Thanks. Ugh, she's so annoying. Uh, what's wrong, 
Sasuji. Need any help? Tachiban is in the neighborhood. Should I invite them, Azumi? No! Please! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna stop hanging out with Azumi. I'm Karin. This is my husband, Akamatsu. We met on a dating app. After we got married, we had our first child, Tokusa. Life was so good, but then... Ah, <laughs> uh, shut up! I'm gonna sleep in the other room. I knew he was like this, but Akamatsu was really selfish, and he wanted me all to himself. This is it? Sorry, I didn't have time. It was our first time raising a child, so it was really tough and he complained about it every chance he got. Where are my clothes? Hey, working late again? Takusa just fell asleep, man. What? It's because of work. What are you getting mad for? I'm gonna hop in the shower. <laughs> Ugh, put your clothes in the hamper. It was clear that he was cheating on me. Ugh, lipstick, seriously? Didn't you make any food? Huh? You said you didn't need dinner tonight, so... no. Ugh, you're so useless. Raising a child was tough enough, but I had to deal with his abuse as well. It wasn't easy. But it's not like he hit me, so... And when he was in a good mood, he helped take care of Takusa, so... Plus, I was on maternity leave anyway. Earrings. I couldn't divorce him just yet. <laughs> I knew that he was cheating on me, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> I actually caught him once before we got married. I confronted him with evidence, but... Hey, what's this, huh? A member's card for a motel? Huh? That's not mine. What do you mean? I found it in your wallet! You don't trust me? What the hell is your problem, you dumb bitch? He just lied about it and snapped at me for no reason. I'm too tired to get in a fight with him, so... Whatever, forget him. Let's get you cleaned up. Then, about a year later, my husband told me he wanted to introduce me to someone. I had an idea. Welcome! Ugh, someone's waiting for me. Ugh, just as I thought, a girl. Hey, I left Takusa with Mom. What's this about? Uh. Uh, this is Akane. Uh. Hi, I'm Akane. I'm dating Akamatsu. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Was he seriously introducing me to his mistress? Ugh. Hello, Akane. You knew he was cheating on you, right? Wait, what? I left all kinds of clues for her. Idiot. I'll cut right to the chase. We want to live together. Huh? Karin, I'll pay you in full. Please let me move in with her. Wait, what? I thought you were going to want a divorce. You were going to tell me she was pregnant or something. Uh, hold on. I know. It would be great if you two could get a divorce. I want to marry him. Hey, Akane, we talked about this. It's complicated. We got kids and I got work and... You're serious? Yeah. I'll still pay for everything you need. In fact, I'll pay you even more. So please let me live with her. This is true love. Are they serious? I don't understand. Why don't they just get married? But I'm not surprised. You don't want a family. You just want to be able to tell people that you have a wife and kids. But deep inside, you just want to mess around with different girls. Plus, he doesn't have the guts to tell my parents, so... Why did I marry him? But Takusa is too young, so I can't get a divorce. Fine. Oh, thank you, Karin! Yay! Yay! But, sign the contract first. You're gonna pay us in full every month. Uh, of course! A few days later, my husband left the house. Daddy? He came home once a week to eat with us. Whenever we had family gatherings, he showed up just to make an appearance. Congratulations! Oh, so cute! I told my parents about our deal, though. They said I could go live with them if I wanted. But for the time being, they kept quiet. Living alone was tough at first, but... Let's go to sleep. 
I think I had more time now because Akamatsu was in here. I was actually starting to like it. That girl pisses me off, but I guess everything worked out. I'm gonna start working from home. Then, a year later, I got a call. Aureen? What is it? Can I cancel tomorrow's dinner? I'm really busy, Ed. Sure. Ah! Huh? I heard Akane screaming in the background. Something was wrong. Later, Akamatsu told me everything. Akane got into an accident and her face got banged up pretty bad. I can't go outside like this! Akane! The doctors treated her wounds, but they said that the scar was there to stay. She quit her job and became a shut-in. And ever since then, she's been really obsessed with me. I can't live without you! Please come home as soon as possible! Yeah. When are you coming home? I thought you were coming home early tonight. Where are you? Please come home. Call me Akamatsu! Please, Akamatsu! What am I supposed to do? Sounds rough. Karin, can I come back? But it's not my problem. Huh? Good riddance. I feel bad for Akane. I do, but you wanted this, remember? This has nothing to do with us. So no, you can't come back here and you still need to pay us every month. I have the papers right here. As for Akane, she's your problem. What? You wanted this. Don't back out now. Get out of here. <laughs> it's true love, right? You'll be all right. Uh. Then I kicked him out of the house. I started working again from home. Life is pretty good. Not for Akamatsu from what I hear though. Hello, yes, I just sent it over. Takusa, mommy's here. Mommy. I've been saving up some money too, so if I need to, I can always get a divorce. Either way, I'm just glad he's out of my life. I'm Kuroki. I started working at this company six months ago, but... Kuroki! <clears throat> what the hell is this? This is garbage! Do it again! Poor kid. It wasn't even that bad. He just hates him, that's all. You're useless! Hurry up! Yes, sir. This is my boss, Akamatsu. I don't think he likes me very much. I'm home. Working late again? Hey, Kuroki. Hmm? Wanna eat dinner? No thanks. Is he okay? He's been like this for a while now. I know. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey, Tachibana, you're his big brother. Go talk to him, will you? I think he will have an easier time talking to you. He's not a kid anymore. I'm sure he's fine. I get it. We haven't spoken in five years. He doesn't want to talk to me. But I had friends I could talk to. He threw stuff at me today. I'm gonna work really hard and come up with something better though. Sounds good. I've been playing this online game for a while. Thanks for listening. I can't really talk to anyone in my family, so... No problem, dude. I met this dude named Etra, and he was a really good listener. I trusted him. I could talk to him about anything. I just felt so comfortable talking to him. Hey, Kuroki, let me give you some advice. To deal with those types, you might need a specific item to fight back. Item? A voice recorder. What? It'll come in handy. Trust me. I see. You're right. Thanks, man. I'm gonna get one right now. Then... A week later, I got my first opportunity to use the voice recorder. You idiot! You've done it now! Mr. Katsura is allergic to crabs! How did you not know that? Stop! Mr. Akamatsu, please! It all started when Mr. Katsura, one of our clients, said he was allergic to crabs. But I emailed him and asked. He said he had no allergies. He's right. It was my mistake, sir. That other food here, so don't worry about it. Mr. Katsura, I'm so sorry! Kuroki, this is your fault! Get on the floor and apologize! No, that's not necessary. I'm sorry. Kuroki, this isn't your fault. If anything, it's our fault. Excuse me, can we get some towels here? Our clients were really nice people, thank God. Ah, I'm stuffed. You got lucky, kid. Yeah. He poured tea on me for nothing. He's not even gonna apologize? Oh, hey. 
If this deal goes south, I'm gonna tell the manager that it was your fault. Huh? Why? What do you mean? Our client is allergic to crabs and you brought him to a crab restaurant. But it wasn't my fault. Huh? Listen up, kid. I told you beforehand that he was allergic to crabs. Loud and clear. What? No way. Wait. You never said that to me. Oh, is that so? Well, it doesn't matter what you think. I told you. End of story. Ugh. So this is your mistake. He's gonna try and frame me. Fine, but I'll tell the manager my side of the story too. Huh? <laughs> Good luck. You just started here. He won't believe you. I think he will. I got it all recorded. Huh? What? Are you serious? Give it to me right now. No. I'm gonna tell him about everything. <laughs> you bastard! Delete it now! Stop! Afterwards, Akamatsu got arrested and charged with assault. But I got fired for causing trouble for the company. Then, even though I handed in the recording and told them about Akamatsu, they didn't fire him! This doesn't make any sense! Hiroki did nothing wrong! That guy! He broke his bones, but he didn't even come to apologize! You all right? Yeah, it's getting better, but it still hurts when I eat. I'm so angry! I asked him to pay for my hospital bills, but he's ignoring me. No apologies either, and he gets to keep his job. I want to get a lawyer, but I have no savings. And I'm out of a job too, so... I'm so angry! Don't give up. Fight! Fight? How? I'll lend you money. Give me your bank account information. What? I'll send it first thing in the morning. Hire a lawyer. Fight this. I thought he was kidding. Huh? Whoa. Seriously? But he wasn't. There was an extra $30,000 in my account. Huh? The sender's, the sender's name? Me. It's a woman? I thanked Etra right away. Don't worry about it. Now you can get a lawyer. He replied. I'll ask him about the name later. Then I hired a really good lawyer to take my case. Let's do this. First, she froze his bank account. He tried to make a run for it, but the lawyer was two steps ahead of him. Finally, he gave up and paid me in full. Then, Mr. Katsura, one of our clients, found out about what happened. He stopped doing business with Akamatsu, and as a result, he got fired too. Thank you so much. I did it! I'll pay you back this week. Congratulations! No need to rush. Just take it easy. Good luck at your next company. Thanks. Maybe I should talk to my family more often about work and stuff. Yeah, good idea. My brother got me a job at this company he knew. We were always fighting as kids, but I guess he still cares about me. Hey, can we meet up? I want to thank you in person. It's cool, man. Don't worry about it. Looks like he doesn't want to meet, but I didn't give up. Come on, it won't take long. Is it because Etra is a woman? All right, let's meet. So it was decided. I was finally going to meet Etra. Then, Bar Yuri. This is it. Hey. Huh? What the? Tachibana? Sup? Wait, you're Etra? Yeah. That's right. Turns out I was talking to my brother this entire time. I didn't want my name to show up, so... I asked a friend to wire the money. Why did you go through all that? You could have just told me. Uh, well... We haven't talked in years, but looks like he was looking for an opportunity to make up. But since he was too embarrassed to talk to me himself, he contacted me through an online game. I was always an asshole to you, Kuroki. Sorry about that. I was just a kid too, you know. My bad. I'm sorry too, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. You helped me out big time. <laughs> That's what big brothers are for. If you need anything, just ask. Thanks, man. And so, after years of not talking, we finally made up. Then, a few months later, he got married to his friend, Karin. It was the lady that wired me the money. Kuroki, thank you. You brought us together. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> you owe me. I'm so lucky to have a big brother like him. He saved me. I'm so happy for him. Congratulations!
I'm Tokusa. The other day, while I was on a date with my girlfriend, Akane... Huh? She doesn't look okay. Is she drunk? Whoa! Are you okay? She was unconscious. Akane, call an ambulance! You okay? Can you hear me? One, two, three, ten. She's not breathing. Hey, you call an ambulance now. You, go grab me an AED machine. Okay! Me? Uh... I need an ambulance. Here you go! You know how to use one? No. Okay, come here and keep pressure on her chest. Okay. Push harder! Okay. Harder? I'm scared. Okay, I'll take it from here. Keep all these people away from me. Okay. Alright, we're ready to go. Press the button. Stand back! Electric shock initiated. Come on. Come on. The ambulance arrived and took her away. Thank you for your help. Can we have your contact info? The city might want to contact you to thank you. No worries. I just did what anyone would do. Wow. She's amazing. Tokusa, let's go already. That lady was amazing. That woman's going to be all right. All thanks to her. She's lucky she was around. What? Nothing. Come on, let's go see that movie. A few days later... Huh? Akane, look! It's that lady! Ah, it looks like she's okay now. Yeah, good to know. I'm looking for that person who helped me the other day. I'd like to thank them in person. If anyone knows anything, please, let me know. Oh, I see. Hey, let's go tell her that it was us. Huh? But we didn't really do anything. What? I called the ambulance and you helped her too! What? No! Come on! Screw that woman! She's so annoying! Pretending to be all high and mighty, ordering us around like that? I hate people like her! What? Seriously? What? I'm just telling you the truth! But she saved her! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Tokusa? I saw the way you looked at her! I'm a hundred times prettier than she is! Is that why you were mad? Seriously? Shut up! You cheated on me! What? Then... We broke up on the spot. What the hell is wrong with her? Huh? Akane? What now? Hello? Tokusa? It's me. I... I... The lady! She's suing me! Huh? Apparently, after we split up, she went to the lady and... Hey, it was me! I was the one that helped you! Oh, I see. I got you now, you little! Huh? Huh? You took off my shirt in public! You took off your shirt in public? I can't be with a woman like that. I'm leaving you. And now, my boyfriend dumped me! He was loaded! He makes more than 200,000 a year! But he dumped me because of you! I'm gonna sue you for damages! Can you believe her? What did I do? I don't have any money! I had no idea what to tell her, so I just ignored her. What the hell is wrong with everybody? I heard from a friend that she got off the hook, though. The lady found out that she was lying about helping her. But she got in a lot of trouble with her school for the mess she made. Man, I can't believe you can get sued for helping someone. Unbelievable. Huh? Oh, is that... Excuse me! Hmm? Ah, from the other day. Hello. Hi, um, thank you for the other day. Ah, no problem. Thanks for helping. You really helped a lot. Thanks. Um, are you free right now? Can I talk to you about something? Hmm? I see. Sorry about your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend anymore. Anyways, just be careful, okay? If she finds out it was you, she might try to sue you. Ah, thank you for your concern. But even if I run into her, I wouldn't say anything. I'm a nurse, so what I did was what I was supposed to do. I should have been more considerate, though. It's partially my fault that she got dumped. I like you. Huh? Huh? I couldn't hold it in. She was just too nice. After we started dating, everyone around me was so crazy back then. You really stood out. I knew you were the one for me. You've really been talking about that all night. Over the years, she taught me how to do CPR. 
and tonight was the big night. I'm gonna propose to her. Wish me luck. My name is Karin. I'm a sophomore at your high school, and I'm part of the basketball club. Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Akamatsu and Mr. Tokusa. It's been a long time. Currently, Mr. Akamatsu and Mr. Tokusa, who are working adults, are our basketball alumni, and they come watch and support us sometimes. Karin! Yep, you're definitely the cutest one here. Hey, Mr. Akamatsu... Mr. Akamatsu and I have been dating for a month now. Let's go on a date after you finish practice. Not here! Stop! I'm sorry about that, Karin. He doesn't really care about what other people think. <laughs> Yet, although we are going out, I only reluctantly said yes to him because he persistently asked me out in front of everyone. Please, please, please go out with me! Then maybe we could start as friends. Even though I said as friends, he somehow took it as being an official couple. That mixed with the atmosphere of people around us brings us to this situation right now. Karin's mine, so don't lay a finger on her. Honestly, I still consider him a friend. In addition to that, I have one more problem, which is... Hey, Karin. It's already been one month since we started dating, so isn't it about time? Come over to my house. Um, I think it's too early. Mr. Akamatsu always tries to take me to his house. Hey, Karin, you don't like me anymore? It's not that, but... But... This is all you talk about whenever we hang out. Well, I mean, we're a couple, right? I just wanted to get closer to you because I love you so much. Oh, how desperate. Honestly, I don't know anything about Mr. Akamatsu. I don't want him to think I'm an easy girl. It's not that I have a nasty motive or anything. For those reasons, I continued refusing Mr. Akamatsu's advances. Then, a month later... Karin! Sorry I'm late. Gosh, it's been 30 minutes! I said I'm sorry, but you're so cute when you're upset. What a flirt as always. Ah! What's wrong? Shit, I think I forgot my wallet. Can you come to my house and get it with me? What? You forgot it on purpose, didn't you? We're just getting my wallet. Wait, huh? What should I do? Here, come on in. Uh, um, Mr. Akamatsu, I'll be waiting outside. Huh? Why, Karin? Isn't it about time? I didn't come here for that. Fine, the next time, okay? Uh, I've been putting up with him for two months now, but I guess it's about time I make a decision. Oh, who are you? Do you have something to do with Akamatsu? Um, you are... I'm Akamatsu's mother. We live here. Mr. Akamatsu's mother? Oh, um, I'm currently dating Mr. Akamatsu. My name is Karin. Hmm, I see. And how old are you? Are you in university? I'm a high schooler. My, a high schooler? I can't believe it. Isn't this illegal? Whoops. Uh-oh, I think I got Mr. Akamatsu in trouble. Hey, you. How dare you lay hands on a grown-up man! You're just a young child! What a slut! Huh? What's going on? What's all the commotion? Akamatsu! Who is this girl? Uh, she's my girlfriend. Why would you choose such a slut as your girlfriend? Don't you understand? It's illegal for an underage girl to lay hands on a grown-up! You're breaking the law! Um, isn't it Mr. Akamatsu who's breaking the law? Listen, an underage person should go out with someone her own age. Uh... Excuse me? Why aren't you saying anything? Why do I have to be treated as a bad person here? Fifteen minutes later. So break up with him, okay? Understood? Yes, ma'am. She's finally going home. And I didn't do anything wrong. Why do I have to listen to that? Too bad. Man, watching you being treated like that by my mother? It was hilarious! Huh? So, she thinks we did it already anyway, so why don't you come into my house? Isn't it a waste to have her think we did it even though we didn't? <sighs> That's very true. I have to thank your mother. I've been thinking I have to make a decision soon. Oh, really? Yes. 
Mr. Akamatsu, I'm breaking up with you. Uh? I'm sorry. To be honest, I didn't like you to begin with. And I've been thinking of how to break up with you. But I couldn't. However, because of that incident just now, I now clearly understand that you and your mother are both idiots. Thank you for your time until today. Hey, wait a second! At least one time! Hey, Karin! Karin! And then, soon after I made sure all my friends heard the truth, there, I texted everyone. My friends and club leader came to me. I'm so sorry. It's all because we made a big deal of it after he asked you out. No, no, I wasn't clear about it either. And apologized. And the other alumni, Mr. Tokusa. Hey, you jerk! Didn't I tell you over and over to wait until she graduates? You dickhead! Never show your face again! It's not what you think, Tokusa! And with that, the other alumni and seniors told everyone about Akamatsu. Then, Akamatsu got called out by a bunch of different people. You jerk! How can you do that to a high school girl? You pedophile! And the way you do things is nasty! And then I... Oh, a message. Oh, it's from Akamatsu. He sent me a message cussing me out saying it's all my fault. Thank you for dumping me. I'm relieved from the bottom of my heart. And there, blocked. That's how I was able to break up with Mr. Akamatsu. A few years later... Kari! After I graduated high school when I was in my junior year of university... Were you waiting long? No, I just got here. I started going out with the other alumnus, Mr. Tokusa. About Akamatsu. He quit his job and he's a shut-in now. What? Really? And it seems like he went to one of our seniors to ask for money. Please! Please lend me some money! I said no! Uh, Mr. Kuroki? Huh? And while you're at it, can you introduce me to a cute high school girl? So you haven't learned your lesson at all, you fool! Never come here again! Something like that happened. Wow, I'm so glad I broke up with him. I didn't know he was that much of a jerk either. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not your fault, so don't worry. But I don't get why he's so into high school girls. I think the person you are right now is much more grown up and ladylike. Come on, Tokusa, stop it! <laughs> Ever since that incident, I decided from then on to always tell others what I think. I wouldn't want to let others choose which path I should take for me. My name is Azami. I'm Miss in my Azami. 30s and I work at a small company. Miss Azami! I'm so sorry, but can I have a little more time to pay back that $300 I borrowed? You still can't pay me back? Come on! It's been two months since I lent it! I know, but please... Okay, fine. But please give it back to me on your next payday. With interest! I'm not going to wait any longer than that! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Miss Adami. Could you wait until my next payday, too? Me, too. Me, three. Lately, I've been lending people money and making profit off the interest. Hmm. 1,300 from the seven people who are supposed to pay me back this month. Next month, I should get 800 from five people. It sure is profitable, but maybe I'm lending too much? So, yeah, last week I went on vacation with my boyfriend. Oh, Miss Akane. The hotel he booked was so shabby. It was terrible. Ew, that'll sure ruin the trip. Gosh, if you have the money to go on a trip, give me the money you borrowed. Speaking of shabby, did you see that handkerchief that Miss Azami was using? It looks so old and dirty. <laughs> Why doesn't she buy a new one? Really? Ew, she's so stingy. She can't even buy herself a new handkerchief? <laughs> Maybe she's got a problem? Isn't it weird that she's so attached to money? And she's single too, right? I wonder what she plans on doing with all that money. That's true. Indeed, there isn't anything in particular that I want to buy, nor I have a goal in life. I just enjoy making money. But there is a legit reason that I started thinking that saving up is the key to happiness. It all started when I was in first grade when I got my first New Year's gift money. Mommy, can I buy a necklace with the money I got? No, honey, not your allowance. 
You don't have the looks to wear accessories anyways. It's no use. From then on, the money I got on New Year's was always taken away from me. I wasn't given an allowance even in middle and high school. I wasn't even allowed to work part-time because it would take up my studying time. When I needed something, I had to ask for it every time. Even then, I was only permitted to buy what I really needed. That is why, when I got my first paycheck, I experienced the most satisfying feeling in my life. What should I buy? Maybe some clothes, a cute bag, and earrings. Hmm, but... Even if I buy such cute clothes, I probably won't look good in them. These accessories, too. I still can't use most of the stuff I have at home. I don't know what to buy. I got used to my 22 years of simplistic living, and I didn't know how to use money at all. I'd like to spend money and buy things too, you know? Well, I have been using this since I was in grade school. Maybe it's about time I get a new handkerchief. And then, a few weeks later, goodbye. I'll be leaving now. Bye. Whoops, I forgot my phone. I have to go back and get it. Hey, Akamatsu. Are you sure you can give back Miss Azami her money? I'm sure you've got a large interest payment now. Ah, right, that money. It's not like we signed a contract or anything, so I'm sure I can ignore the interest. <laughs> Whoa, you're a jerk. Oh, if you're gonna do that, maybe I could do the same? Yeah, let's do that. Well, I don't plan on giving it back for a while, though. <laughs> same here. Me too. Hey, you guys. What kind of rotten attitude is that? You know you're borrowing money. I'm not lending it to you guys out of the good of my heart, you know. If you don't plan on paying interest, give it back right now. Especially you. There's no way I'll let you get away with not giving it back. Get your wallet out right now and give it back. Pay up, pay up, pay up. You're so annoying, you stingy hag. Don't worry. We'll never borrow money from you again. I'll give it back to Me too. Shit. Now I can't go drinking this month. Let's go home. <laughs> I've had enough. I don't want to live like this. Controlled by my love for money. What should I do? Hey, ma'am. You okay? Uh-huh. What? That's terrible. Who do they think they are? But you have some blame too, ma'am. When you lend money, you have to be prepared for when it won't come back. It was these two high school girls who talked to me on the train. Yes, I know. I regret it. I would never do anything like that again. That's good. Well, if you got some money back, why don't you use it to relieve some stress? The thing is... It's embarrassing, but I don't know how to use money. Come on, it's not like you're ugly or anything, ma'am. Huh? What? Really? Yeah, I think you look great with makeup. Your skin is beautiful, too. It's the first time someone's ever said that to me. Can it be? You've never worn makeup before? Mm hmm Then, we'll lend you ours. What? But I don't know how. Then we'll do it for you, too. There aren't many customers around, so I'm sure it's okay. No, no, I'm fine. Come on, don't check it out. Doesn't hurt to try. What aggressive girls. How did I get myself into this situation? What's wrong, ma'am? Are you okay? I'll buy you some juice. But for me to rely on these children, I'm probably desperate. There, finished. Looking good. Here's a mirror. What to expect from a face like mine? Huh? Is that me? Yeah, I knew you had a good facial structure. Just a little bit of makeup is enough to highlight your beauty. And you look much better without glasses. Amazing! I didn't know makeup could do this much. Why don't you try other ones too? They're all cheap, so it won't even cost $100 with everything. What? 100? It costs 100? For this? Yes. No, I can't. It's a waste. It's 
not a waste at all. Investment is necessary for beauty and the joy that comes with it. <gasps> That's true. What's this? With just a little bit of makeup, it makes me feel so positive. It does cost a bit. But if you think of it as a treat yourself, I'm sure it'd be okay to do something luxurious once in a while. Isn't it stressful to live a life of endurance? Just take it easy and try new things. Yeah, maybe I should try it. Yay! <laughs> um, why did you do all of this for me? Uh, there was this time my older sister fell into depression. Me too. My younger brother couldn't go to school at one point, so we couldn't just ignore you. I see. See you! Good luck on your makeup journey! Wait! I want to thank you another time, so please tell me your names. Don't worry about that. Just think about yourself right now and enjoy life. Right after that, I went to the drugstore. Um, is it this one? Okay, here we go, Azami. Thank you. Come again. Monday. Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. Huh? Miss Azami? No way. Is it really Miss Azami? You're a totally different person! To prepare for going back to work, I spent my weekends going to the beauty salon and shopping for goods. And I watched tutorial videos online to study how to wear makeup. After I just bought one cosmetic, something inside me burst out! And I shopped and shopped and shopped! It was a feeling of satisfaction I've never felt before in my life! <sighs> it was amazing! Um, Miss Azami, what happened? Why the sudden change in makeup? Oh, I just wanted to spice things up a bit. My efficiency at work is great too. Uh, how did this happen? From now on, I'm going to use my money for me. I won't be constrained by money anymore. And then, my life thereafter was filled with excitement. I found other hobbies and things I liked. I tried taking lessons in a bunch of things, going on trips and eating delicious food. Excuse me, may I sit next to you? I even fell in love. Right now, I'm studying for the financial planner qualification in order to change careers. It's like everything in my past was a lie. Every day is filled with happiness and joy. And this is all because of those two girls. Ah, I'm broke this month, so I guess I can't get the chocolate parfait today. Me too. I'll just get a hot chocolate. Here are your two chocolate parfaits. Huh? We didn't order those. Well, actually, the lady right there. May I sit with you girls? Thank you so much for giving me the courage. 